I've got the funniest fact check I have ever read in my entire life. <laughs> okay, so here's the fact check from USA Today. The fact check is about a claim that Ukraine not only had obviously been cozying up to the West for many years before this invasion, but that specifically they'd been cozying up to liberal politicians in the West because liberal politicians are the ruling elite in the West. And specifically, they'd been cozying up to the Clintons. So here's the claim. You probably have seen it going around Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. The claim is that Ukraine was the largest donor to the Clinton Foundation from 1999 to 2014. Okay, and USA Today takes this up. So here's the claim. Similar rumors about Ukrainian financial donations to the Clinton Foundation have gained traction on Twitter. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene promoted an iteration of this claim during a February 19th rally. Fact, Ukraine was the single largest donor to the Clinton Foundation. This gained 100 likes. But the post misrepresents a chart from 2015 which ranks individual contributions to the foundation based on nationality. As factcheck.org reported in 2019, the Clinton Foundation hasn't received donations from the Ukrainian government. I'm going to pause it right there. The Post never said that the Clinton Foundation got, got money from the Ukrainian government. By the way, v- Democrat elite political operatives have gotten money from the Ukrainian government. When you think of Hunter Biden, for instance, has a no-show job with a, a state energy company, Burisma in Ukraine. That is the Ukrainian government giving money to Democrats. But okay, let's put that aside. The Post never says the Ukrainian government was the largest donor to the, it said Ukraine. Ukraine, the people of Ukraine, Ukraine through its various channels was the largest donor to the Clinton Foundation. USA Today reached out to the social medias who shared this claim for comment. Do you want to recant your claims, people? Your stupid, crazy conspiracy theory? Wait a second. Hold on. The Wall Street Journal. Oh, hold on. So the the headline says, the Post's misused reports on individual donations. How do they misuse it? The Wall Street Journal published a report in 2015 on individual donations over $50,000 made to the Clinton Foundation, 1999 to 2014. The article included a chart listing the top foreign donors, Ukraine tops the list, but the graph doesn't support the claim in the social media posts. Hold on. The the social media post says from 1999 to 2014, Ukraine top donor to the Clinton Foundation. The fact check says uh, in, in this chart from 1999 to 2014, Ukraine tops the list, but the graph doesn't support the claim. That is literally the claim. That is in those exact words. That is the claim. But no, fact check, no, it, because the graph doesn't reflect donations from the governments, which the, the posts aren't really focused on. Uh, so therefore, you know, it's just, yeah, Ukrainians contributed $10 million to the Clinton Foundation. Don't forget, by the way, Ukraine's a relatively poor country. I, where did this $10 million come from? Uh, I don't know. Do you think some of it might have come from kind of dodgy, oligarchic sources in Ukraine? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just asking questions. Ukrainians contributed $10 million more than any other nationality. Most of that money came from Ukrainian businessman and philanthropist Viktor Pinchuk. Viktor Pinchuk's foundation, based in Kiev, donated $8.6 million to the foundation between 2009 and 2013. The article notes that Pinchuk has close government ties, and he served as a member of Ukrainian parliament from 1998. Oh, and sorry, he's the son-in-law of former Ukrainian president Leonid Kuchma. This, it, it, your fact check is proving the posts to be 100% completely correct. Therefore, these liberal fact checkers, quote unquote, rate it 17 million Pinocchios, total lies, fake news. Fake news, censor anyone who reports on the truth between the Democrats' crooked relationship between uh, Ukrainian oligarchs and and crooked politicians here in the United States. Fact check, fact check, totally false, totally. All the facts are true, but the fact check is false. The reason, by the way, that liberals post these ridiculous fact checks where the headline says fact check, Republican claim, totally false, fake news. And then in the article, they admit that the fact, the fa- the facts of the matter were totally right. In the, in the article, they, they note that there were things the Republicans actually said were totally right. The reason they do that is because these fact-checking organizations have relationships with all the big social media companies, and the social media companies rely on the fact-checkers to determine what will be promoted or censored in the algorithm. 
So even if the fact checkers, quote unquote, have even the modicum of integrity to admit that the claims are true in the article, as long as the final verdict is that this is fake news, it will be censored as this sort of information has been now for years. Right now, go to rockauto.com, enter the word Knowles in their How Did You Hear About Us box so they know that I sent you. You're gonna, and then send me a thank you note because when you go to rockauto.com, you are going to save so much. You could save 20%. 30%, 50% on your auto parts for the exact same auto parts. You don't need to drive to the brick and mortar store. You don't need to answer a thousand questions. You don't need to wait for the guy to go in the back only to not have your part so that you got to go back and you got to go online. Just pull out your phone right now. Save save all that money. They got the same prices for pros and do-it-yourselfers. There's no gimmicks. You don't have to wait until Tuesday at 3 a.m. to go, log on. It's a special sale. No, always reliably low prices. The website is so easy to navigate. Even I can do it. You just go, pull out your phone, get on your computer, type in rockauto.com. You can see all the parts available for your car or truck. Go get them now and then write Knowles, K-N-O-W-L-E-S. And there, how did you hear about us, Box? So they know that we sent you. Did you like that clip? I'm so glad. You know, we're entering into a penitential season right now. And, and one thing that I would recommend giving up for Lent would be all the other podcasts other than mine. You Obviously, you should continue to listen to my podcast, but you could give up all of the other ones. And then you'll have time to listen to more of my episodes, which you can get at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play. Type in The Michael Knowles Show. Subscribe. Leave a five-star review. Obviously, ring the bell here. We'll see you next time.